Yo, what's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Suave, and we are back with some more NBA picks for today. Man, yesterday, man, we brought out the Bruins, man. Your boy, Daniel Gafford, had under 8.5 points. KD under 2.5 threes. And your boy, Kyrie, over 4.5 rebounds. So, you know what we rocking today, man. You know, got it done yesterday against the Clippers. Really good game. Really sloppy game as well. But I'm going to give y'all some picks that I do like today. We're going to probably try to three-leg it again. Give y'all three more picks. Three-leg it, single-leg it, do whatever you want to do with it. Also, hit that like button, hit that sub button if you're liking what you're seeing. As well, join the Telegram. The link is in the description. But let's go ahead and get into some of the picks that I do like today. All right, y'all. For the first pick, first player prop we're going to rock with. We're going to rock with Jamie Javez Jr., I mean, the man played 35 minutes last game. We're going to do him for 15 points right now. They got his line at 14 and a half right now on FanDuel at minus 111. Uh, if you just do him to score 15, you can get it at minus 110. Same difference, same thing. It might help out a little bit. But, I mean, as you can see, I mean, he has 16 against Boston. I mean, he's, he's been covering this line since uh, April 12th. No Jimmy Butler. He's getting the second most minutes on the team. Not only that. The man puts up 16 shots a game. So he put up 16 against Boston. He put up 16 against Chicago, 11 against Philly, 12 against Toronto, and 15 against Toronto. Not only that, he's shooting a three ball as well. So I love the opportunity him for him to score 15, especially if he's going to play, you know, 35 minutes again. Not only that, they got blowed out of the water as well. So him to score 15, uh, it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, it's either going to be him or Tyler Hero. I mean, a lineup that they are running with, you no know, Jimmy Butler. I mean, they're, they're running a little slim as it is. So, I mean, this is a starting five, you know. So, he he kind of has to play. And then the people that's coming off the bench, you know, Caleb, you know, Duncan Robinson, DeLon Wright, what, Hayward Highsmith, you know, people like that. So, somebody has to play basketball tonight. Somebody has to put up the shots. And between Bam uh Jamie Javez and Tyler Hero that that's who is going to be putting up the shots. So I really love him in this uh at that 14 and a half and I'm gonna, I'm going to take him for to get to grab that uh to get 15 points. For the next play, man, we're going to rock with Shea Gilly. Um we're going to rock with his PRAs, points, rebounds, assists. We're going to take his under 40 and a half. I mean, as you can see, bro, against New Orleans, I mean, he had 38 but his last 10, he done had 33. He averaged, the last 10, he's averaging 33.8 points, rebounds, assists per game. I mean, he's only done done it one time out of the last 10 games, and that was against the Kings. He had 51 PRAs. But he haven't done it against New Orleans um, in the playoffs. So, not only that, his history against New Orleans. So, as you can see, I mean, he didn't do it here. He didn't. He did it. No, he had 40 here. So 40, this is not 40, over 40, and this is not over 40. And that's from this season. So three games in a row, four games in a row that he hasn't done it, and he hasn't done it since April 9th. So I, I love the spot that he's at the 40 and a half. If you don't like it's under 40 and a half, I mean – 41, you know, alternate it. Do what you got to do to get it in the comfortable spot that you do like. But almost at plus money on FanDuel at minus 106, I absolutely love to play there. For our last and final pick of the parlay or single, whatever you want to do with it, we're going to rock with Jalen Brown threes uh, over two and a half. It's at plus money right now. Um, it's at plus 118 on FanDuel for him to hit three threes. Uh, I mean, last game against Miami, he hit three threes. He shot three for five. I mean, looking at his game log uh, in the last 10 games, I mean, he takes about five threes per game, five to six threes per game. The last time against Miami, he took five. New York, five, six, five, nine, four, three, seven, eight, and four. So as long as Miami try to keep this game close a little bit, I feel like he'll hit his three. Or even if they get blown out, I feel like he'll still hit his three. Uh, you don't want to bet him at the uh, two and a half. Bet him to hit two threes. Uh, he should be guaranteed to hit two threes. I mean, he averages two threes per game, pretty much. I mean, right now in the playoffs, he's shooting 60% from the field. I mean, in the last 10, he's shooting 35.7% from the three. Not only that, against Miami this year, 
Uh, I mean, three threes, four threes. He scored 20 points, 18 points. So he, he kind of always gets off uh, against Miami. And then in 2023, uh, when they did just play him, he played 33 minutes. He hit three threes. So, but I know he didn't have a good series um, against them last year, as we can see. Uh, 529, 2023. As you can see, terrible. This man played awful. But he's not letting that happen again. I mean, the whole year he's had their number. Three, four, three. He's undone it 100% of the time against Miami. Uh, I'm going to take him for three. Uh, I feel like he'll like he get those um, threes in for sure. Especially if he um, at least take five. five. If he take five or six of them, he should at least hit three of them. But those are going to do it for the three picks that I do like today. Uh, tell fade parlay do what you want to do with it do it responsibly though i'm probably gonna smack mine in the parlay um but other than that hit that like button hit that sub button uh as well let me know who y'all think gonna win the finals who y'all think gonna win these games other than that your boy suave is out man peace